Sometimes when you're finished with a piece, you want to enhance it with some dynamic lighting. Today, you're going to learn how to do just that in both Clip Studio and Photoshop with, with Gradient Maps. Let's jump in. We've got this Akuma portrait that I painted in Procreate. It's not finished, but I think it's good enough for a demo. So the most common use for Gradient Maps is to colorize a black and white piece. One way to do that is with a gradient map. So let's go to layer, new correction layer. In Photoshop, these are called adjustment layers. This technique will work in both Photoshop and Clip Studio. I'll demonstrate it in Photoshop quicker at the end of this, but you'll get the idea. Go over to gradient map. Clip Studio comes with a lot of fun built-in gradient maps. The sky set gives you a nice base to work from. The left side represents all the darker tones that you're going to map a color to and the right side represents all of the lighter colors that you're going to map a color to. So right now we have a black and white gradient. You can see it intensifies the grayscale of the piece. If I just double click on this sunset purple, you'll see what goes on. So as we go darker, we get more of the purple hues. As we get lighter, we get more of these orange and pinks. And if we want to refine this, we can of course plug in our own colors but we can also take these sliders and kind of manipulate them. If you want more brighter tones in your piece, you can take your brighter colors and slide them over to the left a little bit. So that's sort of the typical workflow for coloring a black and white base. Let's say we did something in color first and we want to kind of kick them up a couple of notches we can have fun with gradient maps when it comes to lighting a piece. So let's set that up. Start with a new layer. We're going to fill that with black. We're going to call this mood control, mood control. Always name your layers, always name your layers. Oh, create a new correction layer. That's going to be our gradient map. Bam. And I'm just going to select this sunset purple one because it's cute. And now you're going to go over to uh, this little monitor thing, right click on that sucker, clip to layer below, select the mode control layer and add a new layer. And we're going to call this light. And you want to make sure that it is also clipped to the layer below. Right now, this black layer has this purple hue to it because if we take a look at our gradient map, we've got that purple hue as the dark tone, as the, the black value. I'm just going to change that to straight up black so we don't have that purple tone going on. And now, if I paint lightly, the gradient map will show us the dark color, the dark purple. If I put a little bit more pressure in my stroke, then we're getting into the pinks and into the, the bright yellows. So that's not very helpful right now because this entire canvas is black, which is why we go down to our mode control select that layer. And now if I change it from normal to lighten, you can see that we can use this as a very fancy rim light. I'm going to start painting in the rim areas that I want to kind of brighten up. Sunset actually, this sunset gradient actually works well for Akuma because, you know, you always see him with that purple lightning around him. And uh, the more you stick with an area, the brighter it gets. If I want it to be really hot and orange, you could do that kind of thing. And if you want to tone it down a little bit, you can turn this into the eraser and then just kind of back it off a little bit. And then if you need more sharper details, you can just make your brush size really small and then outline that. If you were to paint this manually, first you would start with a purple color and paint the purple in on the edge, and then you would gradually brighten it up and keep painting on the edge to get this kind of gradient that we've got going on here. But with the gradient map technique set up this way, um, we don't have to get too fussy with it. We can be a little bit more free with our, with our painting.
You can change the gradient map to whatever you like. So if you want more of a, a fire effect going on, you can pick the sunset thing or the sunset gold. With the mode control, you can also play around with that to get different effects. I found that lighten works the best, but you can also change it to something like screen. You get more of that purple in the background. Color dodge, maybe. Color dodge makes it a little bit more intense. Glow dodge also. I think add works pretty well. But you, but in this instance, you get that purple. If you want to be really fancy, you can paint some of this purple into the, the backside so you get a little bit of a glow, but you know, your mileage may vary. This also works in Photoshop, so let's head on over there. We are now in Photoshop, so let's start over. New layer, call that mode control. Fill it with none more black. Create a new adjustment layer. Gradient map. Hit OK. Make sure you clip this to the mode control. So right click, go up to create clipping mask. Select the mode control. Create a new blank layer, call this light. And we'll set the mode control to lighten so we can see Akuma's beautiful face. And now let's modify this gradient. I'm not super fond of Photoshop's collections of gradients, so we'll start our own because we are special. All right, that's a good start. And if you want to tune it, we can tune it further. Select your light layer, grab a soft brush, and get to work. And there you have it. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see Akuma in all this glory. The setup is pretty straightforward, but if you want to jump in even quicker and try out this technique, I've created starter files in Clip Studio and Photoshop, which you can download. Links below. I hope you have a lot of fun playing with this technique. So go on out there and make some cool shit. Mm -hmm.